One of the most important part of telling your story is the audience. And I'm gonna talk about three ways in which you can get your audience in on the video game. What is going on everybody? I'm the owner and creative video strategist of Introduce Multimedia, Paul Schmidt. And today I'm gonna to talk about the fifth trend of using video as part of your visual storytelling, and that is user-generated content. What is user-generated content? Well, basically is what the term actually implies. It is actually content created or generated by users of your services and or product, stuff like that. One of the most important part of telling your story is the audience. And I'm gonna talk about three ways in which you can get your audience in on the video game. The first way I wanna talk about user-generated content is something that I think is the most important piece, and those are testimonials and reviews. This really shows, well, not just shows, but you hear from your client, customer, or whatever, about the positive experience that they've had with you, and they're really ecstatic to talk about it. And like I said, these are videos that are crucial for your websites, even within other videos, or on your social media, especially within your stories that I've talked about before. I can't stress enough about how this style of user-generated content is very important to help push through your story and really add that extra oomph from a client because that is the whole key. So that's number one, done to move. The second way a user-generated content can come into play is for some of you retailers or those that have developed a product and seeing that product in action because nothing shows your product better than if you're seeing it outside of a picture, you know, and seeing it on video. And not only that, but having your customer base talk about that. And I guess you could kind of lump that in with the review as well. You know, some of these have gray areas, but that is a really important way to show how your product is working out into the world and how your audience that you targeted that product towards feels about it. And that's the one thing you're gonna get. You're gonna get that emotion. You're gonna get that firsthand experience. And obviously it could go your way or it could not go your way, but that's the whole price you have to pay for that type of publicity that's free. And I know what you're thinking, what about the negative reviews? Well, that gives you an opportunity to engage and or understand what people may think you need to improve on for your product. So you gotta flip it and look at the positive aspects of that too. And lastly, I know this style may not be as prevalent as the others, but it's kind of a mixture of a review slash testimonial, and that is getting an employee perspective. Because the simple fact is, your employees are also your audience. They have feedback to give, they have positive aspects of why they like to work with you or work in your organization, and also why they like to work with the clients. This helps that story. So don't forget about employees when it comes to user-generated content that can help tell your story. So in the comment section below, let me know how you've used user-generated content to help tell your story. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly at pauls at introduce.com. And in the meantime, I want you to check out this video that talks about stories and how to use videos in stories for your social media where user-generated content is perfect content for those stories. And remember, keep using video for your storytelling because as you know, there's always another story to tell.